For today's Art Spark open-ended art exploration, we are going to be trying out a technique called marbling. So the most obscure art supply that you're going to need for this um, is shaving cream of any kind. Um, and I, I know that you could also do it with thickened water. So you can look up um, a variation if you really can't find shaving cream, but shaving cream is going to be the easiest way to do this. Um, then you also need either um, paint that you can, you know, squeeze out of a tub or bottle, like tempera paint or acrylic paint. Liquid watercolors also work, or even food coloring. Just anything, anything like that that can add color to it is fine. And finally, um, actually, second to finally, um, some kind of um, popsicle sticks, a, a dowel, a chopstick, something that you can use to. Um, swirl, which I'll get to in a moment. And then finally a piece of paper. Card stuff will work best, but if you only have regular paper, that'll be fine too. All right. So let me show you how to do this. It's very, very cool. So step one is we're going to create an even layer of the shaving cream in whatever container we're using. You could use a large container like this. You can use a baking sheet, which is actually easier, but can be conducive to more mess. Um, you could also just use a flat surface if you have an area that you're willing to let it get a little messy. Or as I often suggest, you could um, make this in your bathtub or a large sink um, if you really want easy cleanup. Okay, so just go ahead and spray it all in and turn it into an even layer. All right, and now to get it into an even layer, you can use a spatula. I don't have a spatula lying around at Epic, so I'm just gonna use a piece of paper and try to gently go through and make it an even layer of shaving cream. So now that that's a nice even layer, I'm going to get to the fun part, which is I'm just gonna add some color and you can just splatter your paint or um, Food coloring, just uh, you know, s squeeze it and scatter it throughout, kind of like this. And then take your wooden dowel or your chopstick, or whatever, and you can start swirling the colors around together. So this is what mine looks like before I'm putting any paper on it. Okay. So my last step is I'm going to get a piece of paper and lay it on top and really press it down on this. Fully coating it in this shaving cream and I'm going to peel it up. You see how it is um, covered in the shaving cream like this and then just going to take a paper towel or something to scrape it with and I'm just going to wipe it off and you can see that as I wipe it off
the uh, pattern is coming through underneath. So let me completely wipe that off real quick and then show you what it looks like. All right, voila. Now that I've got all that shaving cream off, I'm left with this marbled um, patterned painting. And you can keep doing this. Just um, So now this is a mess, obviously, but you can smooth this back out um, and you can remarble it. You can add new colors or use the ones that are already in there. Put a paper down and do it all over again. You can keep making these uh, marbled paintings. So this is one of my favorite techniques and I'm really happy to share it with all of you at Epic. And I can't wait to see how it works out for you.